Just another little quick video on my winter veg series. Today it's about cauliflower. When is the right time to pick my cauliflower? Of course, you can pick your cauliflower at varying stages of, I guess, readiness. But I guess what we all want is the biggest cauliflower. You don't want to pick it too small. You want it to grow to its maximum capacity. And whilst you can pick them when they're perhaps um, a little underdeveloped, and you can even pick them when they've perhaps are past their peak, they're, they're all still edible. So make note of that. It, don't put too much pressure on yourself. But if you're looking for the perfect cauliflower and when to pick that, here's a few things to look out for. So the first thing you want to think about is how long has your cauliflower actually been in the ground? They probably take around two to three months to go, depending on the time of the season and your conditions. So earliest probably two months to around three months okay the next thing you're going to be looking at is the leaves that cover up the cauliflower itself and I'll show you what I mean so as you can see this cauliflower is not even visible yet right you can't the leaves are clearly covering it up so I'm um, that's not ready yet okay so then you've got cauliflowers like this that have started to expose themselves a little bit more but are still slightly covered by leaves. Now, I can probably get a little bit more growth out of this. They might grow a touch bigger. But if you're looking for perfection, I would say this is a great time to pick them because they are still being somewhat protected by these leaves from the external environment. That means they're going to be less likely to be, you know, eaten by bugs or damaged from rain or sunburn from any sun that you might get through the winter. Okay. And if you look at this, you know, the florets look tight, but they're not starting to loosen and go into that self seeding stage. Yes. Like I said, Looking at these, I might get some more growth because these could certainly get a little bit bigger. But for me, that's pretty perfection. This one, on the other hand, is fully exposed, right? Okay, now as you can see, because it's fully exposed, it's had some nibbles from some pests. And also, this is what I'm talking about when I say about the florets losing their tightness. Now, this floret here has started to loosen and come apart and it's happening here and here and even a little bit up through here as well so to me this is like i need to pick this today but if i start leaving this too long these florets are going to loosen more and more and more and then it's going to start going into that natural self-seeding regenerating process so to me, this is an example of, of a cauliflower that's well and truly ready to pick. And, I, and so I still have, you know, a nice looking cauliflower that's not too damaged by the elements. The main takeaway is whether you pick it a little bit too small or a little bit over, it's, it's not going to matter. Like I said, they're always edible at any stage of growth. But if you're looking for the perfect cauliflower, the best indication is time frame how far these leaves have actually opened up and exposed the cauliflower. And again, looking at the tightness of your florets. If they're starting, if that tightness is starting to wane and they're starting to loosen a little bit more, that's a really good indication to pick it soon. Otherwise, uh, it's going to go into that natural self-seeding cycle. So I hope those tips helped. But like I said, you know, don't overanalyze it. Whether you pick them a little bit earlier or a little bit late, it's not going to matter. But I totally get wanting to pick it at its biggest and best. So I hope that helped. Take it easy.